Hello, and welcome back to ISYE 320-321 at UW-Madison. This video is part of the Basic Arena Tools series that follows the introductory video, which you should watch if you haven't already. In this video, we'll be going over both the Create and Dispose modules. Both of these modules are very similar to one another, and you'll have them in every single one of the models you create no matter what you are simulating. Create creates the entities that flow through your flowchart. If you were to double click on the create module, you bring up this window, which allows you to customize the functionality of that create module. In the name, you can re rename the create. I often like to call my create modules uh, something regarding the rival of whatever entity I'm creating. So we'll call this customer arrival or customer R and then for entity type oftentimes you can leave this alone but let's say you have a model where you have both customers uh, which may be people and then orders coming in and then you maybe have inventory as well you maybe you're simulating a storefront and in that case you might have three different arrival modules for all of the different things that are flowing through the system. One for people, one for the orders, and one for the inventory that's coming in through the, the shipping dock in the back. And then in this case you'd use you, the different types of entities. But for this, for now, we'll leave that blank. And then you can see this sort of subfield, which is time between arrivals. And this essentially dictates how the create module creates the entities that flow through your system. Here you're given the default choice of random, which is uh, Arena views as an exponential distribution. And then you're, you also have schedule, which is more advanced, uh, a constant, which will be a constant time between arrivals, and then you can use an expression, and uh, you'll learn more about that when we go through the expression builder. And then for this value, you use the mean value between arrivals. So it'll be an exp exponential distribution with a mean of 1. And for the time unit, you can choose between seconds, minutes, hours, and days. I like to make sure that when I'm running my model that all of the units used throughout all the different uh, process modules are the same. So make sure that if you have run into an issue where you might not have a lot, enough people coming through your system or maybe you have too many, check the create modules units before checking anything else. And then at the bottom, there's some more advanced features where you can spe specify how many people or how many entities arrive at an arrival event. Uh, for example, if you, have, if you know that when people show up to your store, they always show up in pairs, you could say two entities per arrival here. Generally, though, I like to keep this at one. For max arrivals, this is a end condition for your simulation. So let's say you only want to simulate the first thousand customers that come through your system. Instead of infinite here, you'd write a thousand. Uh, oftentimes, I like to have my end conditions be time-based, so I'll leave this blank very often. But there are some cases where you only want to simulate the first 50 people or first 100 orders, and that's where you would put that end condition in. And then finally, you can specify when the first creation happens for this specific create module. And uh, it's defaulted to zero, but if you want, you could use an exponential distribution and determine the first arrival time. Um, it doesn't really matter too much. So that's create in a nutshell. And now we'll move on to its uh, sort of polar opposite, which is the dispose module. And dispose will take anything from an entity flowing through your flowchart and essentially delete it from the system. And every entity that flows through your flowchart will need to eventually end up in a dispose. Otherwise, Arena will throw an error. And dispose, when you double click on that, really simple. The only option you're allowed are actually two options. One is the name, and the second one is record entity statistics. And I like to make sure that this is checked. It's always checked, uh, but it's good to keep it checked uh, because we'll be able to report, or on our final arena output, we'll have a report out on what those entities that flowed through the system did. So that's create and dispose. Uh, 